the problem is that we live in an extremely asymmetrical society. And because there are such huge socioeconomic asymmetries, those socioeconomic asymmetries also reflect in the way we understand or frame our art historical ideas. The craftspeople or the subaltern artists are still seen uh, in a way as being lesser than artists who, who are academic trained or metropolitan. And I think that this has been uh, something that uh, many of us, whether it's Jyotindra Jain, Rajiv Sethi, Annapurna Garimela, and myself, we have been uh, trying to write artistry against the grain. Uh, we have been trying to find ways in which we can visibilize the works of these subaltern artists. Uh, it has been an uphill uh, struggle. And as I said, uh, the way we look at the craftspeople or the subaltern artists will only change when our society changes as well. Uh, because otherwise, the same casteist uh, reflexes will continue to inform how we look at our diverse and rich uh, craft forms.